it's Captain Jim here, Riverbone TV, Fly Times Guide Service. All right, this afternoon we're out here looking for a southern species of Esox called the chain pickerel. Also, there's some largemouth in this particular tributary that are only known to the southeastern region of the United States. They're called a shoal bass, so we're going to try to target some of those as well. Uh, possibly have some bluegill for bycatch of both species. So we're going to get out on the river. We're going to give you guys some tips and tactics to go after Esox, whether they be northern pike or the southern cousin, the chain pickerel, as well as largemouth of all subspecies, varying from the northerns all the way down to the F1 tiger bass and the shoal bass that we have here in the southeast. So stand by and hopefully we get a tight line. All right, we come up river quite a bit. Uh, it's kind of as far up as I can go due to Hurricane Michael, uh, the Cat 5 that hit here in North Florida a few years back. Uh, but got a good location for fish here nice little pinch there's some shade over there there's some cover down there uh, there's some more shade back there you can see that leech looks really good so we're just going to give it a whirl and see what happens and just work those tree lines real slow work that shade real slow and see if we can get somebody to give us a good look Oh, thanks for hanging in there with us today so we're out here on the Chipola uh, River being a one-man band uh, getting it done. I made a crucial mistake today. I did not bring my Robert Fist net net. I did not bring my fish pond net. I did not even bring my $5 Walmart net. I just did not bring a net. That being said, the only shoal bass that I hooked, uh, I let the rod tip down the side of the boat trying to be gentle, reach over and get him. For you veteran anglers, I need not explain what happened next for the rest of you guys. Sorry, I'm not able to do this and show you a nice little chunk of shoal bass here in Northeast Florida. I do want to show you what we used today. Uh, here, we used the black and red rubber legs earlier in the day when the sun was high, trying to cast that nice big silhouette in this murky water. Uh, as the water uh, cleared up throughout the day, also the sun got down, I tried to use this lighter color here. Didn't have any love on that. What got it for him? That's it right there. The sparkle minnow from Riverbum. Caught trout on that thing in Alaska. I've caught brown trout down in Utah on that, and of course, largemouth all around uh, the Northeast and Northwest Florida area. Guys, thanks again. Stay tuned for us for the rest of the season. Hopefully we'll have some good trips to South Florida, visiting some friends of mine, get on some exotics. Also, uh, for you veteran anglers, hopefully if there's something you'd like to see, we'll be glad to do that. For you beginners, if there's something that you need to know, please feel free to ask down in the comments section. And as always, enjoy RV TV.